welcome to my vegan kitchen. So today, guess what we're gonna make? Empanadas. I'm gonna show you how to make my plant-based version. Come with me, I'm gonna do it now. substitute is going to be jackfruit. Yes, jackfruit. Jackfruit is an excellent, excellent substitute for meat, especially chicken, because it has the fibers like chicken, or you could sometimes like pull pork or beef, but we're going to pretend it's chicken in these empanadas. All right, so I'm going to use two cans of jackfruit, and I wonder how to get that briny taste out. Guys, you can boil it, that's um that's an option. I don't like to I don't like all that time boiling and doing all that. So honestly, all I do, I take my jackfruit and I just soak it for like 10 to 20 minutes in really hot water. Once I soak it, I rinse it and then it's going to be seasoned really well. So I never taste the briny taste. But I just bust open this can of jackfruit. For those of you who've never seen what it looks like, come on in and take a look. The can is filled with little pieces of jackfruit. And guys, this is green jackfruit, so it's not the sweet type. It's not gonna taste sweet. This basically has no taste, but as you can see, it has all these fibers that looks like chicken. Oh. Let's get the strain and add some hot water to it. And like I said, I'm using two cans because I wanna have enough to really fill those empanada uh, pastries. So I'm just gonna rinse it well, and I'm just rinsing it with just tap water. So I'm gonna rinse it well, and then I'm gonna get my water to the hottest that I can get it. I'm just gonna place it in a container like this, pop it back under here. This is really hot water, and I'm just gonna let it soak for like, like I said, 10 to 15 minutes. So while the jackfruit soaks to get rid of that briny taste, we're just gonna chop some onions. In this mixture, I'm gonna add onions, thyme, and scallions. Add some garlic. And now that we have all our vegetables chopped, Let's go over here and grab the jackfruit. I'm just gonna release some of the water from the colander. And in order to get this jackfruit really, really dry, because we wanna get all of the water out, let's move this down. I'm gonna place the jackfruit in a dish towel. So I'm just gonna place it right in a dish towel, fold my dish towel, and just squeeze the heck out of it. This will get the rest of the water out and it also helped to kind of just break down the jackfruit just a little bit. This way, when we get it in the pan, it's already shredded. And this part is important, guys, because the more water that you get out of the jackfruit, the better. It will help the jackfruit stay firmer when it cooks and it doesn't become soggy. Plus also, keep in mind, you're still trying to get that briny taste out of it. So I find that this method works perfectly. So now if you take a look at the jackfruit, it's all like, just broken down so I don't have to really go through it and break it down too much. It the 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 dish towel did the work for me. And headed over to the stove. I have a nice deep uh pot. You can even use a skillet. I'm using a wok and I like it because it's deep and it'll be deep enough to hold like you know enough oil so when we put the empanadas in they get covered by oil. But if you have a flat skillet that is fine. We're just gonna place this on medium and start to get it heated up. We're gonna add some great seed oil to the pan. All right guys, now that this oil is hot, let's put in our jackfruit. Once the jackfruit is in, we're just gonna allow it to brown a little bit. So we're gonna give it like maybe three to five minutes just to get brown before we add in the other ingredients. All right guys, come in. It's been about five minutes and the jackfruit has browned up somewhat. So it's not gonna to be totally brown right now because we have to throw in the other ingredients. So my first ingredient I'm gonna throw in is the onions. So let's just toss that in. You could just toss everything all at once. The next, I'm gonna have 
I'm gonna toss in the thyme, the garlic, and the scallion, or green onion. I chopped the thyme really fine, so I didn't remove the stems or anything like that. I just chopped it up really fine, and I'm dumping that in there. Give it a toss, make sure everything is incorporated, and then give it a couple of minutes till the onions are cooked and everything looks brown. All right, guys, come on in. Let's take a look. So the jackfruit and the onions and garlic, scallion and thyme have cooked down, as you can see. So it's time now to season it. I'm going to add a little spice to this, and I'm going to use my Jamaican jerk seasoning. You can find this on my website, guys. I'll leave the link below. We're just going to add a little spice to this, all right? Now, if you don't like it spicy, you can use just the all-purpose seasoning. But this is going to be, I, you know, guys, I love jerk. I love anything jerk. I love the flavor. I love the smell of it. So we're going to make some jerk empanadas. So I added the jerk seasoning. And now I'm going to add, <laughs> guys, you know what I love, Korean barbecue sauce. It just, it's just easy. It's easy because it's one sauce that you add in, it flavors everything, and you don't have to do anything more. It's also a perfect combination with my jerk seasoning. And just like that, there you have it. All right, come and take a look, guys. That's what it should look like. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're just gonna place this on the side and allow it to cool down. While it cools down, I'm gonna make a nice cilantro dipping sauce to go with the empanadas. Blender out. Let me get that plugged in, because you know me, I'm always forgetting to plug the blender in. All right, so let's get everything that we need inside of the blender cup. I have cilantro, garlic, onion, I'll put some oil. But guys, don't worry, I'll have all the ingredients for this dressing or dipping sauce down below. So just follow me now. dressing is done. I put that on the side. Our jackfruit has cooled down. Our jackfruit filling has cooled down. Let's talk about the empanada pastry dough. So I got two kinds. In the store you will see there's the Goya brand. I've used this before and it works well but today I was in the farmer's market and I grabbed this brand. So we're going to try this one out and see how this one will work. Also this one is already defrosted so just to make sure that you leave it out so it is defrosted so it's easy to work with. So let's put this one aside. We're going to work with this one. In. And these are so easy to do guys. I mean this is like a whole meal and it's really, really, really easy to do. So it comes like that, as you could see, the, sh the plastic sheet separates it. All right, so we're gonna grab one empanada sheet. We're gonna put it right on our, our board. Let me just grab a fork, my fork, lay my empanada um, pastry dough down. I'm gonna use just a regular kitchen spoon, just a regular spoon. I'm just gonna fill my empanada. I'm not gonna overfill it though two spoons, depending on your size. Now I do find that the Goya brand is a little smaller, so you probably only need one spoon. This needs, as you can see, two spoons. You're just gonna fold it over, just like that. Then you're gonna take your fork and you're gonna seal the edges. While I'm doing this, my oil is heating up. So I have my skillet with the oil heating up. So when I'm ready, I just pop these in. I'm gonna go through a couple of these and then we're gonna put them in the hot oil. We have all the empanadas wrapped, so let's go over here. Our pot is nice and hot. Remember, I'm using the same pot. I just added more oil, cleaned it out, added more oil. So let's drop the first one in. And there we go. 
All right, these cook up really quickly. So let me drop the second one in right next to it. This pot can only hold two. And look at that, look how it bubbles up. Like I said, this cooks up really quickly. Once your oil is hot, your meat is already cooked on the inside or your jackfruit. We're just gonna flip them over. Guys, that took just about a minute on each side, so let's just take these out. I'm just gonna place it on a plate. That's what it looks like. Let's get the second one out. And I'm just gonna repeat the process. pretty that is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let's put it with its cousins. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to taste it now. Guys, it's tasting time. These came out better than I expected. So this new um, pastry, I do like. The only thing I don't like with it, it's a little big, where the Goya is a little bit smaller. But this will be a whole meal. So let's break into it and see what's going on inside, right? Oh, the shell is really nice and crispy. Look at that, look at that. I'm also gonna break right here so we could get more, so you can see more. All right, look at that on the inside. Delicious looking. All right, let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's some good stuff right here. I left these all broken up down here. The shell is really flaky. It's light which I do love. Let's dip it in some of this sauce. Mmm. Guys, the combination of the two, so the jerk jackfruit is really, you know, spicy. But then when you put it in the cilantro, it kind of calms it down a little bit and there's a little sweetness to it. Combination is really good. Guys, you gotta try this recipe. Now, there are substitutes you can make. You don't have to do jackfruit. You can do other types of protein. You can do walnut and mushrooms, a combination of that if you like. You can, you can use the same seasoning. You could also do chickpeas if you prefer chickpeas, if you just wanted more protein. But this right here, this is really good. Guys, you gotta try this recipe. Let me take one more dip. I'm making a mess. Thank you for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Oh, and I forgot one thing. Guys, I'm going on a trip to Bali. It is in April of 2024. I will leave the link below. If you guys wanna come with me, come on, let's do it, let's have fun. Let's go to Bali, there's gonna be a cooking class, there's gonna be a street food tour, there's gonna be food, there's gonna be the beach, there's gonna be a lot to do. If you wanna do it with me, click the link below. Only 20 people could go on this trip. So like I said, if you wanna come with me, do it now. The link will be up. So this is being aired this Saturday. The link went up yesterday. So if you wanna be with me on this trip, go ahead and click the link now before those spaces fill up. All right, let's get back to this. Thank you for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Another simple, easy, and delicious recipe. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the link below and also click on the bell so you get any alerts, any posts, any new videos that I will post. Thank you guys. Enjoy your day. Bye.